Tonight I'm going to rant about something that you all should know. And the legal system doesn't want you to know about this because they are a bunch of crooks. They are a bunch of corruption puppets controlled by a bunch of yo-yo judges who think they can dictate a law that doesn't exist. So let's see what's going on. There's a little devil. There's a brainwashed tooting chicken. And they are lawyers. They are lawyers that work for a system that are so they are supposed to protect you. But instead, what do they do? Well, you know, they try to make you take a plea bargain or try to make you agree with what the judge has to say. Or they give you, um, well, the hibby-jibbies by using scare tactics. And guess what? It doesn't work for everyone. I have proof. <laughs> I ain't scared of shit. I, I don't care. As long as they have 25 cents, they can blow bubbles, and I'll give them a donut. Because all bipolar bacon babies with badges are corrupt, and they never show up until after the crime is over. And then they charge people with stuff that they never, ever witnessed themselves, but they are the lead witness. Which already makes this, um, well, not real. They're fake, okay? Yes, you must watch this video. You will learn something. And remember, always follow the eagle. So anyway, I was watching some channels tonight. And I noticed something about a lot of them. The police are corrupt. And that's why we have this guy in our mind. And this guy in our mind. Because, well, let's put it simply. The police are corrupt. They make up laws as they go. They threaten you and try to push you from saying what you really want to say. And they try to take away your freedom of speech. Freedom of speech? You want to take away my freedom of speech? You want to tell me the Constitution doesn't matter? I got news for you, you assholes. The Constitution is the law. The Constitution was set forth by my forefathers. My forefathers set this forth to make sure that the government didn't take over the people. Or should I say currently the sheeple? Because people act like sheep. And they praise the police. Praise them for the things they do to other people. And when they kill an innocent person and they justify it with a whole bunch of made up stories, it's okay. Well, let's say this. It's not okay. And I'm done with it. I dealt with a couple of people recently who the police continued to attempt to identify. They wanted their ID. And the people were smart enough to know the law and say, I'm not giving your ID, my ID, because I did not commit a crime. But the police attempted and attempted and attempted to get their IDs. What's an ID going to do? If they committed a crime, you'd have them in handcuffs, you asshole. You don't just go out and say, I want your ID. Who the fuck do you think you are? You know who I am. You all know who I am. You've all traced my IP address. You've all dealt with me. And you know I don't tolerate the bullshit. So I'm going to start a new saga in my story. And I want you to try to take it from me. Bring more of your, um... Bipolar bacon babies with badges. Bring more brainwashed tooting chickens. Bring more corrupt judges. Hell, bring the military! Except for one thing. I was in the military and I know we don't follow your jackass laws. So, when a cop comes up to you and asks you for your ID, if you haven't committed a crime, tell that cop to go kick rocks. He doesn't have a right to ask you for an ID. You have to be suspected of a crime before you can be fucking pulled over 
and said, give me your ID. Now, I want you to know, they have all these little rules and regulations, and, well, they think they're important. And they puff their chest up like big old roosters getting ready to mount a hen. But I want you to know something. All the rules and regulations don't mean shit. If it's not law, they cannot ask you for an identification. You must break a law. And they cannot make up a bunch of laws as they go. They don't want you to know this. And you see how dark my eyes are tonight? That's because I'm thinking... I'm thinking about those bipolar bacon babies being sliced up into delicious hunks of slab bacon. And they know exactly what I mean. I gotta tell you something. I was pulled over by a bipolar bacon baby with a badge one time. And he told me I had a tail light out. And that I was touching my brakes too much while I was on the freeway. And he thought there was an issue. I never touch my brakes. I don't have a tail light out. And then he attempted to say he smelt marijuana in my vehicle because I wouldn't fold. I got news for you. I don't smoke marijuana. I would like to smoke marijuana, but I can't afford it, so I don't smoke it. But I want you to know, that is one of the corrupt tactics that the police use just to pull you over to generate revenue and rob the money from the innocent who don't understand the law. It's time, people. It's time you start listening to bubbles. It's time you realize that the police do not practice law. The police do not even understand the law. They just go by a bunch of rules and regulations, which are not law, and they file citations, which is not a crime against you. You don't have to give them shit. So say it, the bubbles. That's my alter ego. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep this one going. I think we could keep this one going for a long time. Because I dealt with the system, and I'm 19 and 0, pro se. I do it by myself. I don't need any help. Because I understand the laws, the regulations... And the regulations aren't laws. I understand the Constitution, and that's all that matters. So if you don't like what I say, unsubscribe. Go fuck yourself. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.